Hi everyone. Particle P is initially at the origin O. It moves with the given velocity function. We're going to write a formula for the displacement function and find total distance from 0 to 5 and uh, displacement um, from 0 to 3. So the first thing we're going to do is find the uh, displacement function s of t. So that's just the uh, antiderivative of our velocity of t dt. So that's just going to equal um, vt is uh, t squared minus 3t plus 2 dt. So when you take the antiderivative of that, um, your s of t it's just going to be, you write t and 2 plus 1, so that's going to be 3 divided by 3 minus 3t, and we want this to be uh, 1 higher, so that's squared. If you put a 2 there, you put a 2 under here, plus 2t plus c. And luckily, we don't have to simplify. And then to find our c, we uh, it says the particle p is initially at the origin, so that means that s of zero equals zero. So just to plug in zero, plug in zero for all the t's. Um, so you get zero minus zero plus zero plus c. So c equals zero. So your formula for the displacement function is just this basically because c is 0. So just write that down. t cubed divided by 3 minus 3 halves t squared plus 2t. So that's the first part. Now the second part is we're going to find the total distance traveled in the first 5 seconds of the motion. So for total distance, we're going to get positive and negative um, so what we're going to do is take our velocity of t and set it to 0. So we're going to let this uh, equal 0. So 0 equals t squared minus 3t plus 2. And 0 equals uh, t minus 2 times t minus 1. So we're going to do a sine diagram. Remember, we're going from 0 to 5. So we do 0 to 5 here. And we have one t that equals 2, and the other t equals 1. So go ahead and put your 1 here. And we want to know if, our, if we're going negative motion or positive direction, if we're going left or right. So plug in 0 into this. If you plug in 0, you're going to get positive. Now both of these are linear. Um, uh, let's go ahead and plug in a 3 here. If you plug in 3, you're also going to get positive. Uh, but for linear, this will be negative. And you can plug in 1 and uh, 1 half. If you plug in 1.5, this will be negative and this will be positive. And when you multiply those two, that's going to give you a negative. So that's going to tell you how you set up your integral. So to find the total distance, um, we want to get um, the integral from 0 to 1 of vt dt. So that's going to be t. Um, we already did the antiderivative of this. And that was t cubed divided by 3. Um, minus 3 halves t squared plus 2t. And we're going to evaluate that from 0 to 1. Now that's positive. Now we go to negative, so um, that means negative displacement. So we're going to do this again and write um, t cubed divided by 3 minus 3 halves t squared plus 2t. We're going to evaluate this 
We'll just go ahead and do this from one to two. And now we have a positive. So then we're going to add um, the same thing. We're going to do t cubed divided by three minus three halves t squared uh, plus two t. And that's going to be from uh, five, two to five. So to evaluate this, you plug in your one. When you plug in your one, you're going to get one third minus three halves plus two and then minus zero because you plug in zero all, all this will just be minus zero now when you uh, combine all of this this is going to give you uh, five six so if you add up all these numbers this is five six so I'm just going to write this as five six five six minus zero for this part all right minus now we're going to plug in our two so do your two first and that's going to give you um eight thirds minus um six t or just six plus four All right, and when you add all this up, that's going to give you, um, let's see, two-thirds. So this this whole thing equals two-thirds. I'm trying to save some space here. So this would all be two-thirds. Then you have to minus when you uh, evaluate at one, which we already know that that is five-six. So it's be minus five-six. Then you're going to do your plus, and we're going to do the uh, 5. When you plug in your 5, you're going to get um, 125 divided by 3 minus 75 divided by 2 plus 10. And then you have to subtract the um, 2. Well, we already know the 2 is 2 thirds because that's when we evaluate it here. So just subtract your two-thirds. Now, this whole thing equals 86, 85, sorry, divided by 6 minus two-thirds. So what we end up getting is, and I'm going to put it right uh, here, you're going to get um, this part, which is 5, 6. This right here. This part equals uh, one sixth. So let's put one sixth. So that just equals one. And this last part is going to be um, 27 halves. So when you add all this up, that's 27 halves. Now this just equals one. So you get two halves plus 27 halves. This equals 29 halves, and that's going to be uh, meters, or centimeters, sorry. So that's centimeters, so we'll put centimeters. All right. Now, we have to find the displacement of the particle at the end of three seconds. So all you have to do for this one is uh, really what we want is from 0 to 3, of our velocity function dt and we already know what this is um, this is going to be our velocity function is this you take the antiderivative of that let's just write that out so that's just going to be um, t cubed sorry about that divided by 3 minus 3 halves t squared plus 2t. All right, and we're going to evaluate this from 3, um, 0 to 3. And all you have to do is really do your, this is your s. Remember, this is your s function here. So basically, all you're doing is s of 3 minus s of 0. 
So S of zeros, this whole thing's just going to be zero. So um, when you plug that in, you're going to get S of 3 is 27 divided by 3 minus 27 divided by 2 plus 6. And that gives you 3 halves centimeters. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.